In 1727, just weeks before his death, one of the most famous men of his day is busy burning boxfuls of his manuscripts. What better way to honor their achievements than to give them the big screen treatment? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 male historical figures that deserve a Hollywood movie. The most famous work and the most important one that Leonardo produced while in Milan was his Last Supper for the refectory of the Church of Santa Maria della Grazia. For this list, we'll be taking a look at the gentlemen whose exceptional lives are worthy of being remembered in a big budget Hollywood flick. Though some of these men have had movies made about them before, they were produced outside of the USA or never received much attention outside of classrooms. We're excluding sports people this time, but be sure to look out for our list on famous female figures from history that should have their own film. I don't mind people asking me questions about what I'm going to do on orbit and whether I'm going to be doing any of the cooking on orbit unless it's asked by someone who expects that the only reason that I'm flying is because Crip needs somebody to serve him coffee. Number 10, Henry Ford. He had lived from the days of horse and buggy until cars were part of our way of life. This world was his world. Best known for revolutionizing transportation and the overall American manufacturing industry, Ford's impact in world history goes further than the Model T. Thanks to the success of the Ford Motor Company, Ford was at one point one of the richest and most well-known men in the world, having popularized the now integral assembly line technique of mass production. To work at Ford at that time, you had to give up your dignity, your manhood, and your self-sense. A pacifist during World War I and a supporter of high wages for his employees, Ford wasn't without his controversies. His anti-Semitic writings and ties to the Nazi party would make for an intriguing watch. The tragedy of it was that he had the money and the conceit to put his ideas on paper and actually publish his own magazine, which spread it all around America and of course made him a laughing stock. Number 9. Ferdinand Porsche We all have a desire to create something that will show we were here and did something of value. There are many fascinating stories surrounding the relationships that businesses forged with the Nazi party, but the part this engineer had to play in the war effort was more intimate than most. Hitler summoned Porsche to a meeting in the autumn of 1933 and set out his design parameters for an air-cooled family car that could be produced for less than a thousand German Reichsmarks. Founder of the German car company that bears his name, he worked closely with the Third Reich and Adolf Hitler to create many of the tanks and weapon systems used during the war. The factory therefore became a target for Allied bombers. This association now has obvious negative connotations, but he was a leading innovator for automobile technology, with his works including the Volkswagen Beetle and hybrid engines. It was called Semper Vivis, or Always Alive, and was invented by an Austrian named Ferdinand Porsche. It could run using gas, the batteries, or both. Number 8. Isaac Newton The Enlightenment must have been an exciting time to be alive as scientific developments completely altered the way we viewed the world around us. Newton is very secretive and has no interest in sharing his work with the world it would eventually transform. It would have been even more enthralling to be a leading figure in the movement towards a greater understanding of the forces of Earth. He discovers the laws of optics, figures out that white light is composed of colors. That's kind of freaky right there. If you take your colors of the rainbow, put them back together, you get white light again. Newton is best known for his association of gravity with a falling apple, but his influence is far greater than that. His laws of motion had a profound effect on scientific thought for centuries. His philosophical musings challenged the most prominent views at the time, bordering on heresy to mainstream Christianity. When Newton dies, he is one of the world's most famous men. Number seven, Shaka Zulu. The enemy responsible captured the British imagination and went down in history as one of the most fearsome and powerful kingdoms in Africa, the Zulu. The ambiguity of the king's nature is the most enduring factor in the interest paid to him by historians and in popular culture. Before Shaga, there was no Zulu Empire. Shaga, in his through his intelligence, is the one who created the Zulu Empire. Some see him as a revolutionary leader who forwarded Zulu culture through innovative and diplomatic means. He said, okay, now what I'm gonna do I will go from clan to clan, chieftain, I will approach each and every chief, and I will just unite people using the spear. Others regard him as a monster who slaughtered thousands of people and, as a result, divided the south of the African continent. Due to contradictory recollections, the truth behind the man may never be known, 
but the fact that his story invites a variety of interpretations could work in his favor on screen. It was just a game of the day that he could kill other people to get what he wanted to get, but he was a great politician. Number six, Aristotle. The East has a way of swallowing men and their dreams. Acknowledged as the first true scientist, this Greek's contribution to a huge number of fields is unrivaled to this day. Aristotle not only invented logic, was the first systematic investigator of biology. His most important work was in the realm of metaphysics, namely the study of the structure of reality. Many of his discoveries were unchallenged until the 19th century, and he still influences thought on philosophy and science in the present day. Many would say he single-handedly created Western philosophy. Aristotle would question everything that was presented to him to the point where he was able to discern the very minute details and not only understand what each of them represented, but how they all fit together into forming a larger system. Aristotle tutored the legendary King Alexander the Great, extending his influence even further. Now if only these frogs could look outward and act on their favorite position at the center, Greece could rule the world. Though some of his views on other cultures and women are antiquated by today's standards, a biopic on one of the first genuine scientists in history would surely be entertaining. No, Alexander. Only common people believe these tales. Number five, Napoleon Bonaparte. That's what I like! Little things hitting each other! The cliched image of the tiny general with an inferiority complex is what many imagine when they hear Napoleon. Actually, Napoleon was at least average height for his time. In fact, that is merely a joke stemming from British propaganda at the time of his reign. Napoleon was really an inspirational leader with an ambition for power that few could resist. Emerging from humble beginnings to eventually rule much of Europe, he bent influential figures to his will through sheer force of personality. Oh, and an army. His charisma, I mean, he got tremendous presence. Napoleon was a master at motivating his soldiers. As well as being a masterful commander, his liberal reforms in the countries he conquered laid the groundwork for civilized society as we know it today. I found the crown of France in the gutter, he said, and I picked it up. Number four, Leonardo da Vinci. As one of the greatest naturalists who ever lived, he is someone who we continue to admire today. The quintessential Renaissance man is one of the greatest painters and inventors of his era often devising machines that were too advanced for the technology available at the time. Yes, I shall go down in history as the man who opened a door. We're talking hydraulic pumps, flying machines, and parachutes. And he's rather charming. Leonardo says that if you build this parachute just like I tell you, I guarantee that it'll return a man safely to Earth from any altitude. Now, maybe he felt safe in his boast because he thought no one's going to be stupid enough to go and try it. His genius and unquenchable thirst to further his own learning in a diverse range of disciplines mean many consider him as the most multi-talented human being ever. His private life and sexuality remain largely unknown, but some recordings note him as a strong, handsome, and outgoing man. That's part of the attraction, that he is a disreputable, but eminently forgivable, lovable young man. Still, apparently only his pupils truly knew the inner workings of his mind, and no. The Da Vinci Code does not count in this case. You say you you hate history. Nobody hates history. They hate their own histories. Number three, Vladimir Lenin. <laughs> must crush capitalism. One of the most influential men of the 20th century was absolutely unwavering in his commitment to bringing about a socialist revolution in his own country. Lenin brought back to his homeland his Marxist ideals, and on the long train journey through war-torn Europe, he wrote down his plan for a socialist future. Nothing could change his views on Marxism and the ways he believed social reform should be brought about. Lenin never cared for personal gains. Even his enemies admitted that he fully believed in his cause, living modestly and working tirelessly from his student days until his too early death. He was a key figure in the 1917 revolution that saw a communist government installed in Russia, thereby influencing world affairs for the rest of the century. He was apparently capable of kindness, but still oversaw the murders of tens of thousands of opponents who stood against him. Life may not have been luxurious, but nearly everyone had a roof over their head and food on their plate. Number two, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson might be the most important person of the American Revolution. The lives of fellow former U.S. Presidents George Washington and Theodore Roosevelt would make for interesting films, 
but Jefferson gets the nod for our list. Tom took the lead on the Declaration of Independence in 1776, with all that good stuff about power residing with the people. The second one started when he won the 1800 election. A founding father of the US, he was also a great thinker and became president of the American Philosophical Society. As a massive figure during a crucial historical era, he had a hand in almost all of the social and cultural advances of the time. While serving in the state legislature, Jefferson wrote the Statute of Virginia for Religious Freedom. This became the basis for the drafting of the First Amendment. Despite promoting anti-slavery legislation, he still owned over 600 slaves during his lifetime, a duality in his personality that is often overlooked. He also had a three and a half decades long relationship with his wife's half-sister, Sally Hemings, who was also his slave. He had several children with her, and the only slaves Jefferson freed upon his death were the children he had with Sally Hemings. We know that 1995's Jefferson in Paris documents his relationship with his daughter, but a man of his stature deserves something more. Is your daughter here to learn French manners and morals? <laughs> manners, to some extent, but when it comes to morals, we should keep to our own. Before we reveal our top pick, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. He kept dinner tables hanging on his every word. His plays ran to packed houses. Wilde brought color to the gray of Victorian England with both his words and his appearance. John Locke is the father of classical liberalism. His core political ideas and doctrines are really at the heart of constitutional law and Anglo-American jurisprudence. Whether he foresaw it or not, his impact on revolutionary movements from Russia to China to Cuba, Vietnam, North Korea has been immense. Number one, Nikola Tesla. These things never quite work as you expect them to, Mr. Angio. That's one of the principal beauties of science. This scientist is today recognized for his input in creating modern electricity systems, but his work often delved into the bizarre. Thousands of people believe the US government suppressed Tesla's technology. Take the story of the Tesla oscillator, a small device that can allegedly simulate earthquakes. Despite being quite a showman when presenting his quirkier inventions, he was strictly regimented when it came to his work schedule. He kept only a few friends, most notably Mark Twain, and openly hated fellow inventor and rival Thomas Edison. If Tesla and Westinghouse want a power war, Edison is ready to give it to them. An endlessly unusual man, he supposedly never slept more than two hours, criticized the work of Albert Einstein, and even believed in eugenics. I give you the future of electricity. Alternating current. The story of this unique and extraordinary man and his incredible ideas would electrify the screen. Then why isn't the machine working? Because exact science, Mr. Angier, is not an exact science. The machine simply does not operate as expected. Do you agree with our list? I have nothing to be ashamed of, you arrogant brat! Which men from history would you like to see on the big screen? We got people slogging through calculus in college just to learn what it is that Isaac Newton invented on a dare. For more historical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. It gives each of us a beginning and an end. And this makes us question how we use what comes between.